Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be covering community college courses. Uh, we are Dream Big. If you want to learn more about the college admissions process, you can contact us through Gmail or visit our website. So uh, a quick roadmap of what we're going to cover today. So first we're going to cover what are community college courses. Then we're going to talk about why community college courses are beneficial. Then we're gonna take a look at where you can take community college courses. And then finally, some frequently asked questions. So what exactly are community college courses? They're um, courses offered at community college that are available to high school students. <clears throat> so community college courses are college level classes that are available to students who are attending the community college. So this is like usually the kids who are attending the community college. But in some cases, the colleges also offer classes to high school students. Um, students are allowed to take a variety of classes offered by the college and can even explore different subjects. At the same time, some community colleges may give you college credit, which can allow you to skip courses later when you attend college yourself. Um, in this case, high school students will need to attend classes on the community college campus or online. There's also a system known as dual enrollment, which is known also known as concurrent enrollment. This enables the high school student to take college courses taught by college professors at their own high school campus. Depending on your school's policy, these courses can also count towards your high school diploma. All right, so what? why exactly are community college courses beneficial? So community college courses offer a chance to get college credit for classes you're taking. This helps fulfill requirements in college later so that you could so that the student could potentially skip a level or the class entirely. If a student is interested in a particular field such as biology, there's a limited amount of classes they can take at their high school. Um, for example, the student has already done AP Bio and Honors Living Earth or Anatomy. Then the student can take some more focused and specific classes offered by the community college to really show their interest in the field. Courses such as microbiology or biotechnology can show that the student is ready for more advanced topics and is already exploring the field of biology. At times, the high school curriculum is very restrictive. It only offers a limited amount of classes, and sometimes students are restricted from taking a particular class because it's simply not available or there's not enough space. For example, uh, a very high demand class is AP Computer Science. And um, because of this, some students may not get into it because of lack of space. In this case, the person can take a computer science course from the community college. Furthermore, there will be a greater variety of CS courses, such as Python programming, game design, and other CS classes that are not available at your high school. <clears throat> OK, so where can you take community co college courses? You can take community college courses as a high schooler in many different settings. You could take it in person at the college. There are many community colleges in the Bay Area, some of which include Chabot College, Dianza College, and West Valley College. There is also an option to take online courses, and this is an option popular among high school students. There are pros and cons to either side. Seeing as in-person classes have less distractions and make class, class discussions easier, but online classes are more convenient and have greater ac accessibility for students who can make the commute or have other commitments. The last option is to take community colleges at your high school, but that's, a, that's only in the case of dual enrollment. However, dual enrollment classes can also be taken online and at the college itself. It's not restricted just to the high school. Um, how to how do you apply for community college courses? Before you start the application process, you want to discuss with a counselor or an advisor to see if the course that you want could be beneficial to your transcript or offer college credit. Next, you need to pick the community college. This decision is entirely up to you based on proximity and what type of classes you want to take. The college application differs within state and between colleges, 
But in California, you will have to apply through the California Community College's website, where you'll have to make an account with or with um, OpenCCC to apply. Afterwards, you'll have to give them your high school transcript and proof of residency. Proof of residencies are usually telephone and water bills or bank statements. You might be required to go to orientation and take classes that gauge your knowledge in the so in subjects such as reading and math. Lastly, you need to register for what the courses you want. The courses you pick depend on what you want to gain from them, such as college credit or to explore different fields. So here are some frequently asked questions. Um, are community college courses accepted by high schools? Yes, but only through dual enrollment. Otherwise, if you're taking community college courses on the side, they can only end up as college credit. Do community college courses accept, affect a high school GPA? Community college courses only affect your high school GPA if they, you are taking them under dual enrollment. Otherwise, they have no effect on your high school GPA. What colleges consider community college courses for credit? You see, <laughs> um, many well-known colleges, Ivy, such as Harvard and Stanford, accept community college credits. You see, have an agreement with the California community colleges on which courses they accept as UC credit. The agreement being named the TCA or Transfer Course Agreement. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can um, join our ask them in our group chat or email us at dreambigorg2021 at gmail.com.